Michael. Gary, nice, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Gary. Hi, Hi. I'm Carrie. I'm gonna give Carrie. you this okay. Okay. Nice man. Michael, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Okay. What are your guys' names? Miranda. 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 Megan. Megan. Miranda. I'm sorry? Megan. Richard, nice to meet you guys. I'm Carrie. Carrie. Gary, what's going on? Gary. Gary and Carrie. Gary. Gary Care. Alright. And what was your name? Quaid. Quaid. Call me Q. Q. Okay. Nice to meet you. Whoa, Q is such a cool name for somebody that does that's interviews. The best line ever done. What? No, but that's like for someone that's like yeah. does interviews, Q is like because you ask quite you know. And A. Yeah, and, and it's good. You gotta find your duo. You Let gotta find your duo. So, oh, okay, yeah, all right. Let's do it. Let's do it. He's nice like asking you. really hard hitting questions he right does. now. He does his research, folks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know all right. He got time. Oh, man, look, he's got the notepad. That's oh, how you yeah, know he he's, he's, he's about it. He's about it. So, this is for uh, Lisa. Uh, Lisa. Am I saying that right? Liza. 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 Okay. Liza. Okay. Yeah. Liza. How does it feel to have gone from YouTube all the way to Disney Channel? This is a dream. I didn't realize it could actually come to. Uh, <laughs> oh, wait, do that one more time, but right over to me. Oh, yeah, the same. The same note? Oh, yeah, okay, please. Gotcha. This <laughs> the is same dream. note? <laughs> a dream that I didn't realize could come true. Uh, this is, it's so sick. You know, I grew up watching Disney Channel. I'm heavily influenced by Raven Simone. I clearly am the knockoff version of her. Uh, that's what I integrated into my YouTube. I'm, I'm cheaper, though. Don't worry about it. Uh, you can hire me for less. But I was all over, like, YouTube, creating these skits and sketches, and then to be a part of a collaborative creative process with someone who raised me, Dan, uh, with Phineas and Ferb, and now be a part of Hamster and Gretel. It's the coolest experience in the world. Yeah. 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 Can you Good talk gosh. about the freedom you guys had recording uh, your parts for the series? Oh yeah, for sure. I mean, I, I think Dan is is so incredible in the fact that like he, I, it feels weird because he's like sitting right there. And I'm like, he, he, yeah. Say Dan, Dan, no, no, turn around, turn your ear. No, no, Dan, Dan, I'm not talking about you. Anyways, so. Dan is great because like you know he gives us creative freedoms that I feel like normally a, a creator would not be willing to do like you know he's not married to the words where he's like yeah if you want to change something just go for it or if like it's like not flowing right he's like yeah let's just change this and like take this out and, and it, it's so fun for him to just like understand that this is like a collaborative thing and it's 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 celebrated and it should be celebrated so much more you know like we all love Dan yeah I love Dan too I guess yeah, he's great he really is and he like allows allows you to just like bring in your jokes, bring in your energy, and uh, he just encourages chaos, which is yeah. like no, what great. I do in the studio. Yeah. <laughs> like I'm very physical in the studio, and just like yeah. holding and gripping onto a pencil, because my character's a reporter, so I'm just yeah. like holding onto a mic, because he makes me, Dan makes me. I'm just kidding, he doesn't. <laughs> You're throwing things yeah, in the yeah. booth. Yeah. <laughs> How do you it's embody a, a cartoon reporter? Ooh, kind of like yourself, the way you're gripping the camera, <laughs> everything, like, moments like this I pull from, experiences like this I pull from, and, like, realize, like, oh, this is just someone who's just ridiculously curious, and, like, wants the story just to be told in the best way possible, and make it interesting, and, like, capture you with the headline, just like you're doing right now. You're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great, y'all. <laughs> well, so we never actually recorded together. This is our, today was, like, the first day that we met, when yeah. yeah, weirdly enough, we hit it off, luckily. Yeah. Cause that'd be really awkward if we were okay. doing all these. Alright, yeah, no, it's because we weren't hanging it off, it's fine. No, I thought we were cool, but no, uh, no it's, it's like, luckily enough, it's like, sometimes you meet people and it just, like, it just flows. It works. You know? yeah. It works. Yeah. I know, it's been 45 minutes deep and we're, we're yeah, at we're doing, we're chilling. We're, we're, we're doing chilling. pretty good. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what are some of the different uh, ways that you approach voice acting versus, like, regular acting? I feel like with voice acting, like, you're not as scared to just, like, take risks because no one can see you. <laughs> like, and also, it's like, you, literally, you can just do whatever you want to do because, like, like you're just imagining it in your head. So if, if you whatever you need to do to help you get to the place that you want to be, you can do. Like I'm not limited by what my face is gonna look like or whatever. So yeah, that, that, I'd say that's probably the part. It feels like the broadest of comedy. Like, yeah, this feels like mm -hmm. the most insane overacting in the world. The stretchiest you can be with your face is gonna help you emote that emotion that your character. Yeah, with your voice. Yep. Yeah. So it's just it's fun. It's free. Yeah. So Michael, for your character. You were gonna get superpowers, but it goes to a hamster instead of you. Yeah. How, do, how do you feel about that, and how does that affect uh, the series going forward? Well, you know, you're also the big brother too, so yes. you gotta be a bigger person. Well, well, so so it's like you know, I feel like that that whole power dynamic is interesting too, where it's like I, I feel like Dan is so smart for flipping that whole dynamic, where it's like it, the, the stereotypical like, oh, girls are boys are stronger than girls, and it's like his sister is so exponentially stronger than him, and and, and like. 
just way more obviously like way more skilled and more adapt to to deal with everything and I love that like Dan is changing that like narrative that is so archaic and like flipping it on its head you know what I mean and I think that that's like such a smart way of thinking so now Kevin is just the guy in the chair you know or the guy in the minivan really and it, he's just there to support his little sister as much as he can and obviously he wanted to be a superhero really badly but isn't so yeah were there any <laughs> previous uh, voice actors that you guys have gotten major inspiration from for your roles? Oh, man. I mean, I watched a lot of anime, and, like, you know, I, I watched a lot of cartoons growing up, but I, I wouldn't say, like, there's, like, any one particular, like, voice actor that I'm, like, so, like, into, because, like, mm -hmm. I mean, when you watch cartoons as a kid, you're like, hmm, who's that voice actor? Like, at least <laughs> yeah. for me, I was never like, oh, yeah, oh, my gosh. No, you're good, you're good. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, yeah, for me, like, it wasn't like, oh, yeah, this is one person that I'm going to, yeah. 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 Mine's yeah. Allison Stoner, who you just interviewed. Yes. Uh, <laughs> I know, she's brilliant, she and she's is. just such a charismatic. Yeah. Like, incredible, charming person, and she yeah. just pours that into any character that she plays. Did you just pour all that on Yeah, I didn't spin it. No, I, I didn't do that way. <laughs> like, it's not on camera. To my words. Yeah, it's not on camera. <laughs> but she just like pours herself into any character that she does play. She killed it in Phineas and Ferb for 14 years. Like she raised me, and now I get to be in a project with her. That's so cool. Oh, uh, but yeah, you take you take. I think as you get older, and you realize, oh, those are humans playing that. Those are creatives. Those are actors playing yep. these characters. Uh, and that fourth wall is kind of broken. You start to take note and realize, oh, that's cool. I want to bend my voice in that way, or like I want to go sing songy with the way that I deliver this line. Like it's fun to think about it strategically. But mostly it's just framed to just have fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, Liza, uh, you mentioned your characters are a reporter. Could you tell yeah. us more about uh, who, who she is and what she does on the series? Yeah, so I forever have a pain in my hand because I always gripped a pen the whole time in the studio like this. Uh, it was really intense. I didn't need to do that, but that's exactly what I did. I'm sorry, wipe that down. But uh, it was it was just fun to be a reporter. I've done interviews in the past, so I kind of tapped into uh, that previous work experience that I had. And that's how I kind of got started in the industry before acting and voice acting. So I just, I really just tapped into that. It was fun though. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, no, that's the last thing. I would like you, okay, so Koi, first of all, I want to get you guys Yeah, I want to get you more from Q. Yeah, yeah. So, could you do a, like, using your voice from the series? Could you give us like a debrief on your character and like a message for kids? Oh, okay, that's actually a good, that's a, okay. Um, I feel like my voice is not getting old now, like, now I'm like put on the spot, I'm like, um, okay. Um, okay, so like a debrief on the show and the character's voice, okay. Um, oh God, now I'm nervous, you go first, you go first. Uh, did you see like we like started doing it and I got nervous? See, that's why we have Dan write the lines. Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> no, nah, you got it. You yeah, got it. You no. It. Hi, I'm Kevin, and my little sister Gretel got superpowers, and now I'm taking care of her. I guess, kind of. I don't know. Something like that. <laughs> I don't know. That was perfect. That was on the mark for Kevin because he's unsure, but he's yeah, also yeah, super yeah. In his own ways, it was brilliant. I like it, Kevin. I like it, Kevin. All, All right, now it's your turn. This is one of his first voice acting gigs, and his voice is so buttery, just more to come from this. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. This is, man, I told you. Yeah, yeah, no, you're doing really good at this. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, do you mind if I borrow your pen again? You <laughs> really have to wear this down. You gotta wipe this down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At this point, it's her pen. It's Sorry, I'm gonna take it. It's a souvenir. Um, <laughs> hi, Veronica Hill here on the scene at Comic Con, being asked to give a full synopsis of our show. Well, let me tell you, kid. Q. Uh, it basically is all about Hamster and Gretel, but hey, it's also about Veronica Hill. I'm a part of the headline as well. I want to tell the story. I'm gonna tell it right. Sometimes the story's gonna be about me, even if it's not. I'm gonna insert myself in it. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Back to you, Dan. That was good. That was a lot better than mine. That was, that was, that was, that was, that was good. That was really good. <laughs> Nah, you were Kevin all the way. You're in your coat. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you the microphone. Oh goodness. You know what? I'm gonna give you one more shot. He's got a sister with superpowers, and he just gets to be a normal reporter. What? So can you tell? <laughs> oh yeah, him, like, she's like hey, a smart guy. Hey, I'm this so and so for, for Hansel. I, this is my character. I'm Hansel and Gretel. Sometimes, like little sisters get the power, man. You just oh yeah, yeah, for sure. I got you. Okay, that's good. Okay. Um, hey, this is Kevin from Hamster and Gretel, and you know, listen, sometimes you think that you will get superpowers, but instead your little sister gets them, so, uh, you know, it's alright, that's just life, I guess. <laughs> I love that, 
you got his inflection and everything. It, yeah. It's kind of like <laughs> I wonder why. I don't wonder. It's a good impression, man. <laughs> how old are you guys? I'm 26. And how old are you? 22. All right. Awesome. You guys have very youthful energy. Oh, Thank well, you. Yeah. Yeah. When a kid show works out, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. it totally works out. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Yo. That's a classic question for any superhero content. Uh, people say read minds, but I swear I can already do that. Oh, no, I, I, I'm too much of an empath, I just assume, <laughs> and create those thoughts. <laughs> and I, they're always wrong. Way, Sometimes right. What do you think? What's my pen? <laughs> um, okay. What's your answer? Um, okay. All right. My, no, mine is really lame. I would want to have either this the ability to no, actually no, the ability to remember everyone's name. Oh, that's, that's so such good. a good useful superpower. Where it's like it's like low key, but like you will remember every single person's name. That's like actually like such a good thing to have. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it's just also just like I feel like it's like that thing where it's like you meet so many people and it's like it's so nice to just be like oh my god hi blah, blah, blah. I'm like yeah I was trying to remember y'all's names right now that's what I was stressing out over I don't <laughs> no 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 don't do that stress please <laughs> it's gonna be funny that's what we wish for that's what we wish for yeah, it's a little bit dead. Yeah. yeah. I think mine would be invisibility cloak. I just want to wear that from Harry Potter. That's, I think it's a superpower to have that. Is that cloak. a superpower though? Because a cloak would be used. Whatever. Okay, cool. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Super yeah, item. It's my skin. It's invisibility. I don't know. Yeah, invisibility. Invisibility. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. yeah, right now. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Gone. Gone. But yeah, what about you guys? What's your answer to that question? I feel like it's a very common question, but like, Thank what you. do you. Ray, you said it in the car. What's your. What you oh, yeah, that if I could just think of like words and they pop on the page without having to type them. Oh, oh that's right. actually it's useful. Okay, I feel like that's. Wish. It's funny because we all like. Well, yours is less. I mean, not that it's less useful, but less like normal. I know. It's yeah. an answer. That's yeah, like, that's like. Like a good skill, it's like, and but it's like useful, yeah. you know. Have you heard of voice to text? Oh, <laughs> I mean, no, no, I like, like you think of like a paper, like if you were like, I want to write a paper on science, and you want like these certain facts on it, like that, that aren't real, oh. and then like, you say them, and then it becomes real, like, oh, okay, so, like, so that's like, works. well, that's like oh. more useful, but also like way more. <laughs> Like super power. Yeah. Like, yes. Like, it's gone. It's, it's there. Just yeah. Like, see, all that's these like. Whoa. Like, it's the age of instant gratification. Yes. <laughs> I'm like trying I to like, like that. that. Yeah. That's like a lot of like the the complexity of that superpower. And so yeah. yeah. No, I can't. Yeah. Tell that to Dan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Pitch it to Dan. Figure it yeah. out. Let's figure it out. What is y'all's answers? <laughs> Mine's teleport. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a good oh, one. That's, that's a good great. one. I feel like that's a useful one too. Yeah, it'd just be easier to get here. Yeah. Yeah. Or flying. Yeah. Like flying is obviously like the most yeah. obvious one, but like how cool would it be to just fly? I know. The first scene, there's actually the first scene of the show where you're trying to yeah, fly. Yeah, and, and so I don't. sad looking. And I don't. The animation is so <laughs> upsetting because he just tries and your little sister's just <laughs> yep, doing just, circles just, around Yeah, you. literally. Yep. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a fly. Okay, I gotta change my head, so I gotta work on that. I think mine would be like feeling. Oh. 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 Have you heard of crystals? <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Stop. Can I give you a clear quartz? <laughs> Magnetizes everything. <laughs> yeah, that's sweet. I like that. Awesome. Thank oh, you. oh, what's up? I know. I just want to get one picture of you guys together. Yeah. Before yeah. we go. Let's and, do it. Uh, I'm not gonna take your pen. This looks like a family heirloom. Oh, it's beautiful. Please give me Actually, if I could have you stand, that would be great. Yeah, yeah. That way I don't get them to wipe it. I don't know where I've been. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I've been. I don't know where I've been. Let's do it. No. Only if you give me a thumbs up. Okay. Can you uh, yeah. give them a fist bump? Oh, yeah, come on. Are you guys video? Oh, yeah. Grab your mask off, too, guys. Are you going to ask your kids, Brad? Who else to get you guys? Okay. Who's racist? Hold on, guys. Hold on. We were literally just talking about blue braces. Really? Yes, swear to God. Are you almost done? Oh uh, no, I got like how many months do I have? Seven months. Oh, that's. Right. That's, 